Hi there, and uh, welcome. My name is Sam, and I'm a partner sales engineer here at ESET North America. So in today's video, I'll be showing you a quick demo of how to deploy a third-party application, uh, sort the application using dynamic groups, and also uninstall that application is all from the ESET Remote Administrator version 6.4. So again, in the Eraser, uh, there's two types of groups. You have static groups and you also have dynamic groups. Uh, static groups here are going to be the one in dark folder. Uh, static groups is just a container where workstations will fall under. Uh, typically, static groups will be your OUs and uh, containers from your Active Directory. Now, you can create or delete your own uh, static groups with a simple left click, and then you can do a new static group here. And of course, the ones in blue here, these are called dynamic groups. Uh, dynamic groups are just really filters uh, which allows you to filter the data and sort the application or sort the workstations by different criteria. Uh, workstations and endpoints can only be in one uh, static groups here, but they can be in multiple uh, dynamic groups. So let's go ahead and we'll deploy a third-party application to a workstation. So in today's uh, example, I will be showing you how to deploy Skype to a workstation. So we'll do admin. And we'll do a client task, and we'll go ahead and do a new task. And we'll just do Skype, installation of Skype. And this is going to be a run command. And settings here. I'm just going to talk to install and run an executable from my working directory. So uh, install Skype setup.exe from the workstation, uh, from the working directory of downloads here. Again, you can apply a few uh, variables here. Go ahead and finish. And then we'll create a trigger. And we'll apply this trigger to your workstation. Add computer. Choose subgroups here to find my workstation. Again, we can easily uh, add it to uh, more than one workstation uh, by this method here, adding multiple, or we can do to a whole bucket, a whole group of workstation, either or. Trigger, run as soon as possible. I'll use local time. And this task here is going to automatically install uh, Skype on my workstation one. And I'll bring up the task manager here real quick, and also we'll see the process kick in. Uh, there you have it. Skype is loaded. It's launching. It's running. And we can see back at the UA server, it's finished. And we'll go to Workstation 1. Give us a minute or two. Uh, this is going to install Skype. Check the in the control panel. All right. While we're waiting for this, uh, let's go ahead and create a dynamic group. Uh, looking for Skype. Uh, so this is going to be an admin. And this is going to be dynamic group templates first. So templates here, these are just really the switches that we need. So we'll create a new template looking for Skype. The expression, uh, I'm going to do and in all conditions must be true. We'll add the rule. So we'll look for a software that's installed with Skype uh, and we'll do it based on application name. And we can do a couple of variables here. Let's just do contains. And Skype, hit finish. Now there's our template, and now we can create a dynamic group uh, using that template. So we'll go all, uh, left click here, and we'll do a new dynamic group. And we'll call this Skype Workstations. And now we'll go ahead and select the ones we just created just a minute ago for Skype installation under the template. Hit finish. There you have it. Uh, there is a dynamic group uh, looking for uh, workstation with Skypes. Uh, so we can go back into the workstation. Uh, we can see 
here where we're at in this installation. We can see that Skype it did get loaded. And we can go back in here. We can see Skype is now on the system. Um, so now what we can do is we can go back to the Erie server and we'll see eventually Workstation 1 uh, populate underneath this group with the installation task of Skype installed. Give us a minute or two. If we wanted to, we can also look at the Workstation 1 here, go to Details, go to Software Install, and we'll eventually see it populate in the system. Just refresh the page a few times here. Again, uh, this is given on the interval of connection back to your server, so this may take a minute or two, depending on how long you have set. Uh, there you have it. Uh, Skype is loaded. You can see it there. And now what we can do is we can create a task to unload Skype. And again, uh, this is well, this will only work if we support the uninstall string. Uh, so you can see the list of agents here, uh, agents of supported uh, uninstall. You can expand this real quick. Um, we're going to choose the uninstall. Of course, we can add additional parameters. Uh, we can reboot the system automatically. We'll hit OK. And now this task is created, and this task will automatically uninstall Skype from this workstation. So we can go back into the admin, back into the client task, and we'll see our, our task here, uh, software uninstall. And of course, we could use this for additional workstation as well. We can do a run on. And here, uh, what we can do is we can also um, add it to a whole group of computers. So. Uh, for example, if any workstation that does have Skype, automatically will fall in this bucket, and from there we, we can have a task to automatically unload it when it gets in here. So we can hit cancel here, and we can see it's running, um, so that way we can look here in the workstation, go back in here, go back in the system, and you see Skype is now uninstalled from the system, and Skype is no longer there. So there you have it. Uh, that's how you can easily uh, use the URA server to automatically deploy a third-party application, sort the application, and then also uninstall the application all from the URA server having to leave your desk. Again, uh, my name is Sam. I'm an ESET partner, sales engineer, and thank you for watching this video.